Hey, it's Mark. Good morning, everyone. It's sort of 7 a.m. in the morning. It's time for coffee. And what better way of introducing coconut oil and the benefits of them? Because I don't know if you heard about it, but you can mix coconut oil with coffee. And you're probably thinking, what is this guy up to? I'll show you in a second. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, welcome back YouTube. Why am I making this video? Because I normally have coffee in the morning. Now, I wanna supercharge my coffee today with some coconut oil. Now, why coconut oil? You're asking, you know, Mark, what, what does coconut oil do? Well, let me tell you. I picked out the three benefits, the three main things why I think coconut is, uh, oil is really beneficial for your coffee. And you probably, if you Google it, you will see everyone tells you it's a superfood because the nations on this planet who sort of live off coconuts because that's one of the main resources around their, their area where they live and their environment, they're one of the healthiest on this planet. They don't only drink the coconut water and eat the, the coconut inside, they also make creams out of it and rub it on their bodies and they use it as some sort of medicine. And there's a good reason for it. Let me tell you the top three. So. Number one is, it's, um, it's a fat, but it's a MCT, a mid-chain triglyceride, compared to other fats which are long-chain triglycerides. The difference is that your body takes longer to break down long-chain triglycerides, and, and that happens in your in, uh, intestines down there somewhere, and you know, to then be utilized as energy only happens if you, you know, not when you do high-intensity training, Fat is more or less the resource you, you have when you do like, you know, aerobic uh, exercise. So mid-chain just means that your liver breaks that down into ketone bodies. And what's the good thing about that? Well, your brain uses ketone bodies preferred to glucose. And that not that brilliant? So you mix your coffee in the morning, which sort of is a stimulant, you know, it gets your metabolic uh, rate up and stuff. So you're starting to get more focused. And you mix it with the coconut oil, what happens? Uh, your liver turns it into, into ketone bodies and you get even more alert, more focused. And not only that, coffee is just the stimulant and um, coconut oil is more or less the energy you need to keep going. Number two benefit is that studies have shown that if you eat coconut oil compared to a different oil or fat, you will this it is uh, increasing your energy expenditure and your metabolic rate as well so in the long term eating coconut oil will lead to weight loss as well which is brilliant and the last fact is that it suppresses hunger so you you feel less hungry and this is a good thing in the morning especially if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to you know finding some sort of thing and you're like you feel a bit peckish in the morning you're like oh, i need to have this croissant i need to have this chocolate or whatever you eat Try to eat some coconut oil in your coffee because that way, you know, you have a bit of a coconutish um, uh, coffee flavor, which is really nice. Okay, now I'm going to prepare one, you know, I'm going to drink it and show you how it looks like and how you do that. So give me a sec. So coffee is uh, pouring in, pouring in, pouring in. Yeah, this takes uh, like ages, right? Until this is done. But okay so here's my coffee uh you can see you know just normal coffee black coffee that's important um you take your coconut oil and sort of it's preferred something like that much that should be all right just put it inside and it's going to then if you can see it here i'll see if you can see it maybe maybe a minute it swims on the top a bit of the surface, obviously, because it's fat. And it takes probably, depending on how hot your coffee is, but, you know, maybe one, one minute to get totally dissolved. That's basically it. Coffee done. Now, one question I had a couple of times was, you know, Mark, could I put in some milk? Well, if you want to have the most benefits out of it, I would not put milk inside because milk is a insulinogenic, which means that because of the lactose in milk, it spikes your insulin. 
And what we want by drinking this sort of drink is we don't want to spike our insulin because you might be, uh, you know, you just came out of a fast because you wake up in the morning and that means to get all the benefits of your body still utilizing your body fat as energy and maybe a little bit of the coconut oil you just eaten right now compared to the milk utilizing it. Because what happens as you drink, as your insulin spikes, it basically shuts down your, your fat sort of, um, not production, using your fat as energy and switches to a different mode. So the fat burning mode is off. That's why don't put any milk inside your coffee. Yeah, easy peasy, right? Okay, that's basically it. That's how you make coconut coffee. You know all about it now, all the benefits. So if you like this video, just hit the like button right now and let me know how you get on in the mornings making these coffees. And uh, you know, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you're gonna get all these uh, nice little tips into your inbox so you don't have to worry about you know, finding me again on the internet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee now and then I'm gonna go to the gym because this is my last tip. It's good to have this before going to the, to the gym to do your workout. It's like a little boost, you're really focused and you keep using your energy, your fat as energy rather than anything else. And then you have your breakfast afterwards. So see you guys.